Karen, your, your team came out not sluggish tonight. You <laughs> didn't know how they were going to come out. You told us in Shoot It Round. What did you think about the way they came out tonight? Um, as I told you guys at Shoot Around It, I was scared to say <laughs> what I thought we would come out like, uh, just because we have a lot of young players. But in particular, I really thought we came back focused uh, yep. from the holidays. I don't know if they just needed to go home and get some love from their parents. Uh, but I did think that we came back with a different feeling yeah. and, a, and a, our practices have been solid. Um, you never know, even though you practice well, sometimes that doesn't transfer. But in my eyes, it usually does. Uh, and I just thought we came back really with a good focus. Yeah. You really shut Texas Tech down in the paint. I mean, they just really were unable to get to really generate much offense in there. Was that part of your game plan to not let them get into the paint or did that just kind of play out? Uh, it was just part of our game plan to have better help yeah. uh, than, than we've seen some teams have uh, when we watched them on film. It was really, really important that we kind of help the help. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was critical. Because we saw our, that the first play of the post, game where yeah. you, you didn't get the call, but Ariel was there on, yeah. for the for Right, the and charge. that was really the big emphasis of the three days yeah. of prep was just they were going to have to help our guards so much because of the volume shooters that they have on their team. So we knew that somebody was going to have to help them. So it was really important. And I, I just thought that our kids did a great job preparing. Yeah. Uh, and you never know whether that's going to translate. And, and uh, we obviously could have played better. We could have shot the ball better. There's no question. And we haven't seen a lot of zone this year, but yeah. we're probably going to. So uh, we'll get better as we go along. And I do think we'll shoot the ball better. I think there were some trying to decide, is this a good shot or do I need to make more and more pass? And, then I would go in and talk to them in a timeout about making one more pass, and then they would turn down a shot. So that's just young players trying to do what you ask them yeah. to do. Yeah, get a What about young players? Oh, sorry, no, speaking of young players, Joyner Holmes had a big night for you tonight. Joyner was really good. Yeah. Uh, and, and again, she was one of those that I thought came back with a little bit of a different feel. Um, you know, just first semester over with. I, I thought all three of the freshmen looked like they caught their breath over the holidays, and her prep was better too. Uh, yeah. She's gotten to the point that I think she understands preparation and she knows that what we're doing is important and um, she's making the transition. And I think the thing that's most impressive to me about Joyner, and I've been watching Joyner play a long time, and I, I really did believe if she would ever commit to rebounding, yeah. that she could be a really special player because yeah. of what she can do off the backboard. And uh, the last probably four games, I, I think she's kind of turned the corner on. It's actually, I think, getting fun for her yeah. to get a rebound. So Well, yeah. she gets to run with it when she yes. gets a rebound. Yeah. So that's that's fun for her also. Absolutely. Karen, at the end of the game, the la in the fourth quarter, um, Tech got loose on a lot of three-pointers, yeah. and you were, your guards were trying to go underneath. Uh, and I know that was not the game plan to go underneath on Caldwell or Brooks. No, no. And those are just... Um, teaching tools yeah. you know, for the young ones. Uh, I think each one of those mistakes was probably one of the young players not communicating well or not. I mean, they'll learn, yeah. they'll learn. Uh, you know, Jade is better than she played today. I mean, I I think they had the nerves a little yeah. bit, but I did think, you know, you asked me to shoot around about Suge and I think you can see that yeah. she's, that light's starting to come on for her. Yeah. And in particular against zones, uh, Suge is a natural, I think, as far as where the next pass goes and some penetration lanes. And we haven't had a guard like that that could mm -hmm. really penetrate yeah. zones. And yeah. she'll get better and better at that. But, you know, I'm pleased. It was a 40-minute effort. And yeah. we've been trying to work towards that. And I can't complain. I mentioned that on the radio that second quarters have really bitten us. And I right. thought we stayed really mm -hmm. focused. Um, it's about all you can ask for. You know, what I wanted to say was Brianna Taylor. It's not always pretty, but it's there every single time. And I thought her effort was tremendous tonight. It was phenomenal. It really was. Uh, just her ability and her buy-in to do the things that we're asking her to do. Um, and they're sometimes selfless, you yeah. know, and they don't show up on stat sheets and all of that. But um, if we could, if that's the example for mm -hmm. the young players yeah. and they could start to try to emulate that a little bit, then we'll get somewhere because that, you know, you, you have to be able to defend in this league. Yeah. I mean, you, you just can't stand around. And um, we have to have a few more players that can guard those guards like we just saw. Right. No doubt about it. Yeah, she's a she's that high motor, high yeah. energy kind of player that other players can feed off of. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it, it's and she just takes the best guard. Yeah. I mean, she takes the toughest, the toughest assignment. Every, yes. I, I mean, I mentioned that in a team meeting a few days ago that I really appreciated Brian and Kelsey both. Uh-huh because they have the responsibility of taking the best perimeter player and the best post player right now until these young ones move along. And they're 
okay with it. Yeah. And that's what seniors should be like. How's it feel to get the first Big 12 game? It feels game great. Done? It feels great. I was really uh, nervous is not really the word for it, but I, it was a long day. Yeah. I, I woke up early and you just, you know, it's an anxious day. You want to get going. And we were the seven o'clock game and you just want to, you just want to get it, get it yeah. going. Well, I tell you, the game started off in the, in the first half. Y'all shot such a high percentage, but everything was really easy. You were getting the ball inside. The other thing you did really well in the first half was scoring off the bounce. I mean, y'all were turning corners and getting yeah. in the paint, whether it was transition or just getting in the gaps of that zone. Yeah, and then I think they made some adjustments, mm -hmm. and then they started to give us some penetration lanes, and we didn't make the best decision in the penetration lanes. Sometimes we shot when we shouldn't have. Yeah. Um, maybe too many long jumpers you know we have to look at that I, I i told them at one point you know how long has it been since kelsey's touched the ball mm -hmm. in the second half and so we'll we'll that's some film we can use yeah all right thanks karen